Well, hello, it's Mr. Sorensen, and um, it is time for our machine of the day. So why don't you come join me back here in our wood shop, and let's take a closer look at our machine of the day. Today, for our tool of the day, we are going to take a look at this nifty little tool called the Edge Bander. Now, the Edge Bander was developed for working with plywood. Plywood consists of six or seven layers of wood glued and laminated together with the grain of the wood of each layer oriented in a different direction. Because of this, <clears throat> as you can see here on this piece of oak veneered plywood, the edge of a piece of plywood doesn't look very good. You can see that multi-layered look. To build furniture and cabinetry with that piece of plywood, we need a quick and effective way to cover that edge with a piece of solid material so that it looks like a solid piece of material. It looks like the real thing. The tool that has been developed for that purpose is the Edge Bander. So to begin with, let me give you the definition of the Edge Bander used to apply a piece of pre-glued veneer or laminate tape to a piece of plywood using heat. Let me say that one more time. Used to apply a piece of pre-glued veneer or laminate tape to a piece of plywood using heat. So the Edge Bander isn't necessarily a machine that every person might have in their garage. Although this particular Edge Bander is made specifically for home use. This is a very small scale Edge Bander for people doing small scale work. Um, on the under, other hand, industrial size Edge Banders could fill this side of the classroom. They're, they're huge and they can operated by computers. Uh, so there's a large variety of edge banders you could choose from depending on the quantity of work that you're having to do with it. Like I said, this is a this is a garage model. This is a small scale model that's very cost effective. It doesn't cost that much and you could put it in your garage and build cabinets there, but you still get the benefit of an edge bander so that you can quickly put edging on a piece of plywood and you're not having to do it all by hand. So Let's take a look at how that edge bander works. The first and most important safety feature about an edge bander. As I show you this, the thing that we need to make note of is that the edge bander puts the edge on with heat. So we are gonna be working with not only a very hot tool, but as the board comes off of the other side over here, the edge of the board is also gonna be very hot. So obviously, our big danger here is getting burned by the hot metal or the hot um, edge of the board. So we just really want to be careful to keep our fingers and our hands away from the areas where we have a lot of heat on an edge bander. The edge bander has um, one interchangeable component that is used and that is this tape. Uh, so the tape can come in a plastic form. This would typically be used on Formica products and the tape can also come in real wood form. So you'll have a real wood veneer tape that has glue on the back. This is called Therma Edge. So as I work with this, what I'm going to have to have is a set of these different uh, tapes depending on the material that I'm going to be putting on. The edge banding machine is made up of several components. We have an adjustable arm in the back, the heating element, a trimmer, a pressure roller, and the table with a fence on it. This adjustable arm in the back can be opened up. You, you spread it apart like that, and that allows you to set your roll, gives a comfortable place for the roll to sit, and then the tape can be fed into the slot in the back of the machine. So here's how the heat gun works. We start here with this component. This is the heating element. This is a heat gun. You turn the heat gun on. 
the heat gun is going to blow hot air right through this area right here. The tape feeds right through a little slot. The slot passes by this device. This device is a trimmer. When we are done with our cutting or when we're done with our um, gluing the, the edge on the side of the stock, that little trimmer will cut the tape off. The tape will make its way down here. This is a pressure roller. As I roll the piece of stock along, it puts pressure against that little roller. The, the roller pushes the, the piece of tape against the stock. And I run the whole board along this fence. Because the tape is going to overhang on each side of the plywood, there's a little slot right here in the back of this table right along the fence. And that makes sure that uh, you have plenty of room, depending on how wide your tape is, it can overhang your stock because there's a groove right here. Once you have fed the piece of stock all the way past the roller and the tape is applied, then you're going to cut the tape and take your stock and the edging will be applied. So let's actually run that in uh, real time. It's important when I start up edge banding that I give the heating element a chance to heat up. That will be my main problem, getting the tape to actually stick to the plywood. If I don't give the heating element long enough, the tape and the glue on the back of it will not be melted. And so while it may sort of superficially hang on to the edge of the plywood, eventually it will just peel right off because it really isn't stuck on there. So uh, I need to give it plenty of time to melt the glue. The, the air coming off the heating element has to be hot enough for this to work. And I want to push it slow enough that it gives the new tape time to heat up. Now once I reach this point I can tell I got plenty of tape. I'm going to go ahead and snip off the tape so I don't waste too much of it. Once the edge banding is done, I'm not quite done yet. I need to introduce two additional um, veneer tools, the end trimmer and the edge trimmer. I'll start by putting the end trimmer onto my piece of uh, plywood and I'll trim off the veneer that is overhanging the end. Lastly, I'll take my edge trimmer and I'll begin to trim the edge of the veneer off. And there it is. Now I'm finished and I have a beautiful edge on my piece of plywood. You can no longer see the different plies that make up the plywood and it just looks like a solid piece of wood. This piece of wood is ready to take over to a project and install it. So that's the use of a edge bander. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Talk to you next time.